Hey, we are live. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Welcome, everybody. My name is Demetrius Witherspoon, and I'm the writer, director, creator of the Submerged Universe. Uh, I hope everybody out there in Submerged Land can see me. Uh, we're going to check some things uh, and see how it's looking on Facebook and everything. Again, throughout uh, this uh, virtual party that we're going to have, because uh, I'm about to bring on the guests, you can also chat with us. Leave a comment and we'll we'll get right back to you. So we can't wait to uh, hear from you and also present this wonderful uh, soundtrack from Submerged Blue Star, uh, which was scored uh, by the composer, uh, Sean Thomas. Um, so let's, uh, again, chats are open. Uh, we are on Facebook. We're on uh, Submerged Universe uh, Facebook and also Submerged Universe YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's introduce our guest. First, we have, no, we have both. We have Sean Thomas and Betsy Burr. Again, Sean Thomas, the composer, and also Betsy uh, Burr, uh, who is a performing artist, uh, vocal coach, and just, you know, she does her thing. Uh, welcome, everybody, uh, to the show. And uh, we got a good night for everybody. What, what, what you think? Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sean, you said this is your first time being live like this? Yep. It sure is. <clears throat> Exciting. Nice. Yeah. So, so um, for everybody, when we brought this uh, Submerged Blue Star, a little bit of, about that, it is the uh, fifth film in the Submerged Universe series. And uh, I want to do the screen like this for a second. Yeah. All right. So is the a fifth film in the Submerged Universe series. So uh, there's uh, the Chronicles of Nairi, uh, the Chronicles uh, fades into the Frozen Land, also then uh, Nairi Reborn, and then uh, Submerge Echo 51, and now Submerge uh, Blue Star. So the whole story is about a lady that gets it's experimented on and thrown into a multi-universe and she has to find her way out and fight for her daughter. And so uh, this has been a decade of uh, filming. And again, we'll talk later about what it uh, expanded into. But when we came to um, Submerged Blue Star, uh, it, we filmed it right before um, the pandemic. And so when the pandemic hit, it's like I still had something to work on. We was trying to get it all done and everything. And I, I knew I would have to find a composer. And between that time, while editing that, I started working on some animation. And uh, so therefore, here comes Sean. Uh, Sean, you can tell a little bit more about yourself and, and that process of uh, how we got together. Hey, thank you. Uh, I remember the first time I think we met, I was actually in a drive through for some fast food and you text me and you said something about, hey, I found some of your music online, wanted to see if I could use it. And that was pretty much the first time we hooked up. And then you had bigger things. You had a submerge uh, the banner and I scored that and we... Yeah. Uh, you good? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you, yeah, you scored the uh, Submerge banner, the Submerge um, uh, comic uh, banner that we did, and then I was like, man, that's pretty awesome. And uh, so when it came to uh, getting with the uh, Submerge Blue Star, you know, after that, I was like, you know, that would add a whole nother different flavor to the submerged universe and, and the score. And I'm big on scores. Like I listen to Hans Zimmerman uh, 
you know, just my stories are interstellar, oblivion. Um, there's there's so many out there. The Mandalorian. Uh, so I really do listen to scores. And uh, so I, I love having other composers come on. <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, also let's introduce uh, Betsy. Betsy Beer or Bear, shall I say. Um, Betsy, you know, we go way back, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like early pandemic days. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been a couple years. It's been a couple years. I feel like it was yesterday. I feel like what is time? Time is a concept. So, <laughs> right, right. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we met through a mutual friend, actually. Um, and, uh, you know, with, with one of your leads, Grace, her friend Mikhail Drobny introduced me to you. Um, and then I had some equipment I was returning to you, I think, from Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail had borrowed some yeah. stuff from you and, mm -hmm. um, and, and he was just like, oh, you're going to love Demetrius. And, and he was very much right. I've had a, such a blast working on this, on this production. Blue Star is actually my first, first of hopefully many uh, collabs on in this universe. Cause I, you know, um, this is my third album. I think I've sung for like in the, in, in the industry, third or fourth album, but this one was was very unique for me because there was no like, here's the sheet music, here's your lyrics, off you go. It was very much like, here's the theme and the style. Like I remember when you were talking about like Hans Zimmers and stuff, you were saying how you were like, you know, I love these big epic things. And then when when you introduced me to Sean and then Sean was like, go ham. And yeah, so it's been a really creative process in this. Yeah, uh, we was talking in, uh, before we went, went live that, um, when you delivered that, we talked for almost an hour, uh, almost an hour and a half, just in the parking lot. About, in the rain. Yeah, <laughs> in Indy. About, yeah, about your journey. Um, again, we were both uh, dealing with uh, the grief of our friends or two. And so, um, yeah, and it started sprinkling and raining. It was like, well, maybe it's time to go. Um, but I, I, never I think we sat in your van for a bit because you played me some some other stuff that you had. I think we like we we sat. It was like it's raining, but hold on, like we, we still have things to say. So <laughs> right, I always got stuff on my phone. I can't live without my phone. So you oh. know, just making sure uh, I have everything. <laughs> you just never know who you're gonna meet. Uh, Absolutely. And, and after really learning about your journey, then um, I followed you on TikTok, and then I really got to see what you do and yes. so because uh, i was using tiktok for my i own um a production company that also does like education like teaching voice acting voice like singing and acting and dance because i've done musical theater since i was four and then i got my master's in musical theater on and i was a jazz singer from the time i was 15 and so um yeah like i started a tiktok account specifically because i was like you know I think, you know, because it was pandemic world and I, well, was, yeah. I still need to perform. I still want to be out there. So I was posting jazz songs that I had performed live and I was post, you know, things that I was like, I'll do a, a studio version of it. I was posting, oh, I, ha I think I had a series for a while actually called like tips and tricks with an acting coach or something like that. You know, like yeah. that was my, that was, yeah, that was my TikTok. That was, a, that was a good TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And and so I, I was watching it, and you had did a Disney song, uh, I think, um, ah. from the little, the little Mermaid. And my wife heard you singing, and she was singing along with you because it was just a classic song, and you sounded so good. Yeah. So uh, I was like, you know what, we gotta we gotta bring her on board. So <laughs> so that's when I, yeah, go ahead, Sean. I remember when I first saw Betsy's stuff and I scrolled through, I think I watched everything that she had done until I ran out of reels, honestly, because it was all so good. I think we need to make more. <laughs> <laughs> and I was watching, she was collaborating with all these people and I was like, I want to be that guy because mm. everything you did. So I was showing my daughter, especially all the Disney stuff you sang too. So yeah, you were, you were in my house as a star. Yeah, you were. Thank you. Uh, I, need, I need to make more reels. 
See, you don't know how important that is. A lot of people be looking at the likes and how many people's following you, but people are watching. And, mm -hmm. and you know, it's, it, it's, you know, as long as we're putting content out for sure, uh, people are going to be following. So that's, that's how we got, you know, exposed to you is one thing talking about, it, but really seeing uh, what you do is amazing. So when I came to Sean, I think the first thing um, we'll, uh, we'll start to get into some of the music here, but uh, Sean, I was, I was like, when we was making the trailer, uh, I think he was kind of getting a little stumped of what, what we were going to do. And for me, because I was editing the movie and the trailer, so I, coming from a music background, that uh, film is uh, a rhythm to me. The editing is a rhythm, a pacing. And so that's how I... I work. Sometimes if I can't get the pacing right, I put on some music under it or the score that we have under it. And so that's why I was waiting for your score. Um, but you can say a little, a little bit about that process. When I first started doing the, the score, yeah, the, I was trying to figure out the same tempo as you. And I mean, as soon as I saw the first video that was created, it, and your excitement about it, it helped me a lot kind of produce what I needed to to make up for it. And then once I actually got, after I had almost all of it together and Betsy sang on it, it completely changed the whole score. Then I wanted to go back and start changing it on the on the trailer. And it's, it always does, it, it's never enough time to, to fix things because you <laughs> always hear new things that you want to change. I still hear things that I'm like, oh, I want to change it. <clears throat> but yeah, it turned out really good. Oh so God, it's so epic. That's the art. That's the artist in us. You know, we always mm -hmm. see something new, but other people are really enjoying it. So let let's go ahead and get into the uh, score. Uh, this is the soundtrack uh, from Submerged Blue Star, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more, go in more depth of how you came up with uh, some of the concepts and what was going on at the time. So uh, let's let's get into it. Let's see here. One.
All right. All right. So uh, we had that bonus beginning uh, music on there. That was, um, you know, after we had the soundtrack, uh, I was like, you know, I think we need to fill this out a little bit more. Uh, could you come up with something kind of cool, you know? And uh, with that bonus beginning, um, I was already listening to, you know, melodic music or music you work to on YouTube. And so I think Sean uh, uh, nailed it in, in having something very cool. Thank you. Yeah, Sean. So um, did you and Betsy work out something or is that is that from all the, you know, uh, recordings that she gave you? I think on that one, I used some of the recordings that she had given me and they kind of inspired a lot of the parts that I wrote that I actually wrote for it. And uh, I wanted to take all the parts and pieces out of the whole thing as a whole and bring it together as one track, but add even, well, everything I do on that, on this whole album, I try to keep it kind of dirty. And on that first track you played, the bonus track, I was a little bit leery about adding guitar just because I felt like I didn't know if I wanted to bring an electric guitar into the world, you know, because most of it was very synthy and bassy and Mm -hmm. I was scared how that would turn out, but it actually turned out pretty good. And uh, I was pretty happy with everything that happened on that when we put it together. And I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so when we got, I know we kind of talked about the uh, trailer and everything. Um, what, oh, what other things inspired you on, uh, on doing the, t the trailer music and um, also you too, um, uh, Betsy, uh, again? Um, I think for me, like when it came to the trailer music, especially, um, I feel like the three of us kind of went back and forth a lot about like, what is the feeling of this world, right? And, and where, where does this music kind of fit in this world, mm -hmm. you know, because you think of your big epics and, you know, your Lord of the Rings and your Dunes and, you know, your Star Wars and, and um, even some of the Star Trek music, you know, like you listen to the Star Trek themes, Enterprise theme is Enterprise theme, you know? And so it was like, you know, where are we living? Where are we living in, in this song, in, the, in, in this track, in this soundtrack um, <clears throat> with this world? And I felt like a lot of like the art process and, you know, Sean, I remember when you would send me things and you would say, like, listen to this style um, or listen to this instrumental track. And when I was recording vocals, everything that Sean sent me, it just has so many different, like, there are so many themes so beautifully interwoven into each other that as a vocalist, it gave me an opportunity to send, like, I felt like there were three voices talking at the same time. You know, there's this really deep, low kind of contralto living and then there's this mm -hmm. belting kind of like across desert sands you know belt and then there's this soaring kind of soft soprano into like a, a shrill kind of almost siren because there's some really neat sirens in the music too when you like alarms you know like sci-fi yeah. alarm kind of thing and right. so I remember that I would send Sean things and Sean would send back and be like, hey, can you you know like add this to it or you know like when I recorded I actually I recorded three tracks like back to back, layered them and then sent them to Sean and was like, this is kind of what I'm thinking or or like, this is my concept of how the harmonies work. And then Sean would kind of like take them, deconstruct them and remake them into something really mm -hmm. fantastic. So. Thank you. Yeah, I remember so many late nights uh, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> hoping that you guys were both awake and it'd be 11. 12 o'clock sometimes when Demetrius and I, we'd be talking and I'd, you know, I'd be dying to show them what I've got. And I think the hardest part about working with them is just, or working with you is just that the, I, it's more me thing because I hate waiting to hear back, you know, like, oh, did he hate it? You know, did he like it? <laughs> and, this, and, and, and when Betsy, when you made all the, all of the tracks, 
I was amazed because you had, I think, four or five tracks, and some of them were lower than I could ever imagine to go with my voice. And then they'd be, the highest ones would be higher than I could ever go with my voice. And it was really hard to pick and choose because there was so much stuff that you recorded. So it was a lot of fun to that, mess with all that. That's the OCD in me. I was like, I hope <laughs> that that 11 o'clock at night I was recording extra tracks like, oh gosh, I hope that Sean has enough. Is this enough? I don't know. It, it will never be enough. And it will never be enough. <laughs> I just kept sending you tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you spent a lot of tracks. And uh, Sean, when I would receive your music, it's usually on my phone. And I'm either doing something or I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep and I wake up and I uh-huh. see that I then got a message from you. And it's it's a song and I can't play it right there because my wife is laying next to me. So I, I got to get up, I got to <laughs> get my earphones and I listen to it like three or four times. I'm like, oh yes, oh that's tight, oh that's good. <laughs> you know, cause first of all, let me let you know, I am a fan first. I am a fan. And then I was like, I got to cut that off. Now I'm listen to see if there's anything because we, I don't want to, I don't want to, the reason it takes me a minute, for one thing, I want to make sure I'm hearing it correctly. I'll get it off my phone. I'll put it into the studio so I can hear it on bigger speakers. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to make sure I'm hearing everything before I say, yes, that's perfect. Let's, you know. Uh, because I don't want to do that. And then it's like, ah, you know what? That really doesn't work or something like that, you know, which Mm -hmm. can happen, but I try before because I'm so excited, you know, Mm -hmm. when I get your music. Um, But like when you did the trailer music, I was just like, oh my God, that is dead on what I wanted to hear. And then with the vocals coming in, I about cried. I had mm-hmm. tears in my eyes because, um, you know, we had talked about kind of where you wanted to go and you was like, I don't know, <laughs> but you just pulled it off. And people, as you can see now, they really enjoy the, the, that score. And um, so, um, you know, I, I appreciate uh, both of you collaboration. That's so important um, when we get inspired like that. So, um, but yeah, we're going to go to the next song here again. If you're just coming on, this is the Submerge Blue Star album release, uh, Virtual Party. Uh, We are here with uh, Sean Thomas, composer of the Submerge, uh, the award-winning, (laughs) multi-award-winning sci-fi Submerge Blue Star. Uh, And also Betsy Bear. Uh, who has uh, been the vocalist uh, on this uh, soundtrack and just m- melodically uh, bringing so much um, to this album. We uh, greatly appreciate you ha- having you on here. So we're going to go through some more songs and uh, we'll go back in depth of uh, what's going on uh, with the Submerged Universe. All right, here we go.
All right, Battle of the Trigons. Whoa. This is the opening scene in the movie. Um, Sean, can you talk about your experience uh, when you seen this? Because we, I had to send it to you first. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a, a big battle. For those who are listening in uh, on the podcast, this is a big uh, battle scene that's happening uh, with the Craig Empire and uh, the Trigons. And so I, we just wanted the epic, the most biggest thing that we could do. And so um, so then once we get it together, I mean, we have that first, I don't know, it's probably about a minute and a half or whatever, and we sent it to Sean. Sean, can you tell him about uh, what you thought? Yeah, that was a, that was a really fun that was the first thing I did after, uh, you know, some of the other things I've done for you. But when I first got that video, you were still working on some of the animation. So I couldn't exactly put everything together at the beginning. But when the very first part happens with the blue star, and then all of a sudden you see the battle, it's just, I felt like, you know, this is as good as Star Wars or, you know, any of those films. So I knew I had to make it as epic as possible. And so I went right for the big drums, right for the real deep sense. And uh, yeah. And yeah. It, yeah, it sounds yeah. like it should be. I, I've been playing because um, I'm a nerd, <laughs> which is why I'm working on things like this, because I love it. I love it so much. Um, but I've been playing Jedi Survivor, and this is like battle. Yeah, it's so perfect for, you know, and that's such an epic battle scene, too. So, like, mm -hmm. see, you know, it's like, I love listening to music like this because it reminds you, you know, because we've seen these. And, like, you can imagine the scene in your head when you hear good music, especially if it's super recognizable. And I love that's such a good scene. And actually, I, I was writing down because I was like, oh, I have more ideas that I'm going to have to talk to Sean about later. <laughs> that just gave me more ideas. <laughs> yeah, I um, when uh, William Redford, he uh, was doing the visual effects, uh, a lot of the visual effects on Submerged Blue Star. And when he sent that to me, I was just like, it, we talked about how it was going to be, but when he sent it, I was just like, man, that's... Uh, amazing. It remind me of some of my childhood shows, you know, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, um, all of that. And um, but that score, when you put that score in there, uh, for me, um, it had been a while since I had edited one of my films. I usually have an editor and things like that, but with the pandemic and everything, so uh, to uh, put the folly in the um, sound effects and all that in there, that was a joy and uh, kind of, uh, it was kind of hard to mix, to try to make sure it was mixed right uh, with your your strong uh, music, because that had to be there, but also uh, the ships, the, some ships were heavier than the other. So what would they sound like? So I had to pick out sounds and layered sounds of what the bigger ships would, uh, feel like and sound like and coming across the you know from the left to the right um all of that was uh had to be just right and and i think with the music and everything it, it really uh beefed it up um because uh you know you have to grab people from the beginning and that's what your your song uh did there um but uh but yeah, I, I, I love that at the beginning. It's a very well, epic scene. Yeah, with those extra, you talk about the foley of, of the, the ships and everything. I mean, it's just between the score and the ships, everything is just like rattle your bones. Like <laughs> It's a moment, I love it. Yeah, and it was fun to see it on the big screen, you know, in the cinema, you know, that's where it's supposed to be at to be able to see that. Hopefully, you know, we'll bring it to the IMAX. Uh, that's, that's something I'm working on, um, you know, uh, for a special engagement. But uh, that, you know, to see all that happening and it, it was fun. And, you know, you, you see 
Lucas and all, all, all the uh, Lucas films and things like that, doing all those different uh, sound scores and sound design. And uh, that that is so key to any scene. So uh, I watch my favorite movie and listen to see where I need to um, put different little sounds. You know, there's layered sounds there, a little twinkling, the computer's going off, the explosions are layered and all that. So I, I really geek out on that stuff. So uh, it, it, it was fun, fun to do. Um, so let's see here. Uh, the next song, and before we get into the next song, I do have some giveaways. So what we need people to do is I have a number that I'm thinking of that is uh, between um, 1 and 50. And if anybody gets close to that, they will uh, be able to get uh, one of our prizes that we have in the night because we have multiple prizes going on. We got the uh, Submerge Universe, all five films on Blu-ray. And uh, and we got some cool things happening with that because uh, later on, um, well, in this month, uh, we will start to have this come out. Uh, it will be uh, December 14th. So December 14th, uh, worldwide distribution of Submerge Universe on Blu-ray and DVD. And also, uh, if you're looking at the screen there at the bottom, uh, December 14th, 2023, uh, Submerge Season 1. That's all five films, the comics, will be up on Submerged Universe VHX TV. That's right, we got our own streaming service. So you'll be able to watch the whole series and uh, get submerged and find out where everything connects because some people's only seen this or uh, they haven't got caught up or they won't work in themselves backwards. Either way, it'll be all streaming just like Netflix. So, um, can't wait to drop that on you. So December 14th, uh, 2013. And most definitely right now you can order. Um, let me see here. Comment. All right. We got a, got a number there. All right. Uh, again, I'm doing a giveaway uh, for the Submerged Universe. Let me get my camera right. Do that. I might have to turn off the ringing light or something. I don't know. But oh, no, here, here we go. go. There we go. So Submerged Universe uh, Blu-ray. This is all five films and almost uh, a decade worth of uh, behind the scenes from all five films. Uh, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> so um, I am, again, thinking of a number between one and 50. And so we're going to do one more song and uh, then we'll uh, see who our winner is. All right. Let's go
All right. Um, so a, a mother's love. Um, <clears throat> so this is a pivotal point in the in the film, and I. Um, when I was writing this with uh, Mary Carlton, Mary Carlton, um, she is my editor and project manager of the Submerged Universe uh, with DV Entertainment Pictures. So uh, I brought her on this time to really help me write uh, Submerged Blue Star because there was a um, a theme and a, um, a a conversation that I wanted between a mother and a daughter. And I have four, I have three three daughters myself, and so um you know just trying to uh as you deal with, with them coming of age and in this sense uh nari is still on the run from the craig empire but also dealing um trying to help her daughter too uh deal with so many emotions so uh that's that's why uh i put that in there and i i thought it needed something um you know, that really brings that out as they're talking and discussing uh, things, um, trying to, uh, you know, uh, come to some kind of agreement uh, as mother and daughter on what they should do next. And so um, what did you think about it, uh, Sean, as you were scoring it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Y 'all muted. laughs> Uh, actually, that was to me, it was a really delicate scene just because I didn't want to build it. I wanted to build it slow because what they were talking about was really important, mother and daughter. And but I still wanted it to to have the feeling of the scene, which was. The rest of the album is so heavy, heavy synth and everything that it but I wanted to bring the piano in to kind of give it, you know, a more delicate feel. And that was probably one of my favorite scenes to score as far as any of the slower stuff, just because I have a wife and a daughter, you know, and, and I get that same feeling from, you know, I feel your scene basically. So it helped me, it inspired me to write that, put myself in that situation, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was just powerful to see it happening. Um, you know, as they were filming it, uh, as we were filming it, um, they did so well, Grace and uh, Cassandra, uh, mm -hmm. and Cassandra played Nairi, uh, uh because we're a few years down the road, and then uh, Grace uh, playing Liz, uh, Nairi's daughter. <clears throat> so uh, it, it was just a blast to be able to see them really come off of each other and 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 work that scene out um, so uh yeah a mother's love so again this is off the submerged blue star album um it is going to be dropping on december 8th which is tomorrow on spotify itunes youtube but the vinyl album uh you want to get that because it is specially made to be listened to on vinyl and um, think about how many uh, sci-fi film uh, independently that have their own vinyl album that you're able to listen to. And we got extra songs on there. Uh, so with that vinyl album, you will be uh, getting uh, some stickers, also uh, a signed um, poster. And right now you can go to the DV Entertainment Pictures uh, again, uh, dventertainmentpictures.com to get uh, your vinyl album now. And it's limited. You know, we're only going to order so many. So uh, get your order in and um, get submerged. Uh, let's look at uh, the chat here. Uh, Ruth, are you still with us? My number was 10, and Ruth was the uh, only one to put a number up. So that is the closest one. Uh, Ruth, um, if you could uh, inbox me, uh, and we'll we'll try to get in touch with you. But inbox me. Uh, you can do it at uh, Submerge Universe, either on uh, YouTube, or it looks like you're coming from Facebook. Uh, 
in, inbox me on Submerge Universe. We'll get all your information. And you have just uh, won you a uh, Submerge Universe, uh, the, the whole series and behind the scenes, 10, 10 years worth. And uh, this officially drops everywhere. Uh, we've been doing some cons and everything, but this officially drops everywhere uh, December 14th. And you'll be able to order it on, on Blu-ray and DVD. So, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's. That's perfect. That's Sean. John, that's mom. We, can, we can watch it together, Mom. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> well, your son, your your son is awesome. Okay, your son is awesome. I just want. To Get that uh, on live, right? <laughs> so everybody knows. All right. <laughs> you... <laughs> nice. This is so, wonderful. Uh, but um, so, all right. Let's let's go back to this uh, beautiful uh, music uh, from uh, composer Sean Thomas and the beautiful vocalist uh, Betsy Bear. And here we go. Let's go here. Sean was killing it. He was killing it, man. That was a fun track. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. Um, so this is toward the end of the film uh, that uh, this track uh, comes on board. And, uh, man, it just really builds up. You know, it's telling a story of what's going on. And um, I was inspired when I was filming it. I was kind of inspired by Superman and a whole bunch of other uh films um but uh it was just a pivotal scene because it was going to lead into uh what was coming next which when i made blue star it actually i wanted to answer some questions and fill in some gaps so it is the fifth film but it's actually it goes between nairi reborn and echo 51. so uh, i kind of put it in that order when we did season one because when you go from um uh, blue star it goes right into echo 51 because we're continuing the story and it leads into our next uh feature film uh, which will probably turn into a, a series um which is a submerged galaxy of subversion and we've already started uh doing some uh, some pre-production stuff so uh so submerged um a galaxy of subversion is uh, going to be coming up next. Um, 
But Sean, um, so your your process of uh, are, are you up late working on these things or what what's going on? It's always up late. <laughs> <laughs> Like every, like all of us, we got our day life, and then I try to cram those few extra hours in at the end of the night. And I'm usually more inspired that way too, and it's quiet, you know. And I just sat down and started messing with that noise that I'm playing with, and I kind of built everything in my head around that noise. And once again, it was just part, bits and pieces of. I mean, if you were to put it all together, it'd probably be one song, the whole album, just because a lot of it was in the same key, and. Uh, I think when we, when I did that song, it didn't, I don't think we had a spot for it at the time. Right. And, and then the funny thing is you, where you ended up putting it, it worked perfectly. Like it was meant to be there in the first place. Cause I know it ended where you stopped the end of it. It just worked for the whole, the whole ending. So it turned out nice. It was fun. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you, are you you're creating things and you're editing everything you're like okay is this going to really work and it sometimes it doesn't seem like it's going to work but then when you get that score in there it just takes it to a whole nother level and that's mm -hmm. what your score did uh especially toward the end it like i said it, it had the emotion and build it up uh, to uh, like people are like, okay, what's next? And I did get inbox from people that have seen it again at film festivals and they want to know more what's, what's coming next. Um, and even from the, um, the premiere, uh, that we had. Um, so, and I think we kind of hit it on, on some things, but from each one of you, uh, I'd like to know again, what, what kind of, uh, inspires you uh, as an artist to do what you do? What what inspires you? I would say, for me anyway, a lot of it is what you bring to the table. So it, as soon as I, I build the story with you in my head, and then I start to think of ideas, but there's so, if you could look at my phone, how many recordings of me in the bathroom humming at work? <laughs> because <laughs> I have all these ideas and if only I was home, you know, by the computer and I was able to lay this stuff out, there'd be three albums. But <clears throat> I think honestly, it's, you know, on any project for me, it's, I mean, you build a complete universe and it's hard for me to fill those shoes and, but I've still got all these ideas. So it's hard to pick and choose what I want to use. So yeah, it's definitely your work that inspires me to, oh. to try harder. And and all of your all the stuff you do, you're always pushing and pushing and pushing. And I mean, that's pretty inspiring. So well, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um looks like uh you got another fan on. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. It's like, is this his brother? It's a family affair. That's what, that's what Smurge is about. about. Bringing family yeah. together. That's what it's about. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's your dad. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. And it is a collaborative film is a collaborative effort. And a lot of people don't understand that unless they really make film it's not i'm the director and everything i say is what needs to happen i listen to people and only time i might say no we can't go that way is because i know how everything ends I and mean, we can't say that because they'll mess mm -hmm. up that uh you know it's not just a one-time movie this is a ongoing series so um but other than that uh you know, I try to, when we're filming, I have people uh, at least do uh, two takes that are kind of my way or what's on the paper. And then the third take or fourth take is br bring me something new to the table. And a lot of times there's something new that comes from that, that, hey, that's cool. We can use that. Uh, so it is a collaborative uh, effort. 
um, when filming that and, and on the back end also uh, having a music uh, is so key. It's so key, especially music uh, from Sean Thomas and uh, also uh, vocalist Betsy. Um, so uh, I'm kind of, we're doing good here. And uh, again, we are having this virtual party because Submerge Blue Star has, it's been a long journey working on this and a lot of sweat, uh, tears for sure. And um, it is a kind of personal project for me. Again, everything I think as artists, uh, we kind of put some of ourselves uh, in our art in some kind of way. So uh, it is a personal um, thing for me. Uh, it's not the last in the series, but uh, it is one of my favorites in the series. Um, so this next part that we're about to do uh, is a special song. And, and before I kind of get deep into that, I just want to, again, let everybody know that uh, you can pre-order your album right now. Uh, it is uh, on the website, DV Entertainment Pictures, uh, and the vinyl will be coming with, uh, it includes stickers and also an 8 by 10 signed poster uh and uh beautiful music uh from sean thomas and betsy bear um a vocalist on the album and um you know you you don't want to miss this and also then it's going to be uh dropping on uh, spotify uh we'll be doing that on december 8th spotify itunes youtube um it, it's going to be out there and also the uh, Submerge Universe season one begins streaming on Submerge Universe uh, VHX TV. So film is forever, film is forever. Uh, be on Blu-ray too. So this next song, uh, as we did all the songs um, and, and also doing the film, uh, we lost one of our filmmakers, our friends, our family, um, um, uh, Grace Carlton, uh, she played Liz, and um, so I wanted to dedicate a song to her, and and you know we had everything pretty much done, but I got back with Sean and I was like Sean, I think you know I, I want to put this in here, and um, so it's the uh, um, Grace meant a lot to this to us um, because I worked with her since she was 16 and um, from uh, three or four uh, different projects. And also when we would do um, different cons and things like that, uh, she was there um, to meet everybody and she just cool people just lit up the, the room. And so, uh, but this song, I wanted, you know, to be something that would um just be that that notch of where she was and so it's the legacy of um the the cosmic legacy of uh, grace is the name of the song of the score and is a bonus score on the album and you don't want to miss it and uh here we go we're about to play that for you
Um, so we we got some love from uh, Mary Carlton, which is uh, Grace's uh, mother. Um, so um, just a powerful piece. What what was going through your mind when you was making that, Sean? Uh, trying to sum up somebody's life in an epic, you know. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a lot to try to to make it sound as, with with Betsy's voice and I mean it just it sounded heavenly but huge, you know, mm -hmm. atmosphere. I'm sure it doesn't even come close to portraying her life, but you know, I wanted to do it to help dedicate to Grace. Yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate that uh, so much. Um Let's see, uh, from uh, uh, Mary uh, Carlton, um, uh, Grace's mother, she uh, wrote the, the most beautiful part is that Grace isn't only uh, isn't only not forgotten or forgotten, but she is actively remembered. Thank you so much for loving her. So um, it's a beautiful thing from uh, Mary Carlton, who uh, is her and her family are so amazing and um i am so honored to have her as a friend and a family and um you know uh <clears throat> i sent her this song the other day uh so she because she didn't know that we were making it and so um you know I, she was very grateful of it and, and, and you can see um see why there so uh, again, I wanted to do something special for Grace because uh, she meant so much uh, to uh, me and the cast and everyone uh, that is uh, part of the uh, Submerged universe. Um, and uh, she touched so many people, um, not only on set, but also as we were doing different cons and just in the community. So, uh, so I wanted to do that. Um, and and Sean, you knocked it out of the box. It was just a powerful piece. Thank uh, you. Yeah, um, and it also um, inspired. Um, we got we got something from uh, the random random uh, Christian show. Christian uh, said, uh, "What a, a great uh, uh, yeah, a random yeah." Uh, thank you so much. Um, let me see. And he also did a great job. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> the the song also inspired uh, when we were at uh, Gen Con. Uh, we had our ten year anniversary, and it uh, it really was uh, not the same without Grace being there because I have so much footage of her when we were from the first time she hit Gen Con to the other. And if you haven't been to Gen Con, it is a big, huge, not only film festival, but it is a gaming convention with over 70,000 people coming through from all over the world. Uh, so uh, our film uh, has uh, been in uh, Gen Con. And not only that, uh, we've had Grace and so many of the characters, uh, actors uh, from uh, Submerge there. So. Um, let's see here. We got uh, Amy said, "Congrats, you earned this." Hey, that I we couldn't do none of this without the team, and Sean Thomas did such an amazing thing. And I'm sorry for the telephone going off. <laughs> so, let, uh, hold on for a second here. I guess that's why earphones are important. You probably wouldn't have heard that. All right. So, um, uh, Betsy, what what did you uh, think about the the song? Because I, 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 was that the first time you heard it, or? Yeah, in its in its entirety. Yes. I mean, I remember, I remember recording it, and I remember Sean reaching out to me, um, and being like, "Hey, you know, just so you know, this this is probably what we're going to use this for." When I heard like the the bass track and. 
I remember actually when I was listening just to the instrumental, I sent a, a message back to Sean and I was like, gosh, this is like, this is like epic DC. Like this is the theme of a person, you know, like this is, and it's not their battle theme. You know, it's, it's like the Batman theme or, you know, Superman, Batman, um, you know, Iron Man, they all have, you know, in Marvel, they, they all have their own like life themes that are not them in battle. It's them living their life or them having, you know, this is who we, this is, you know, the role for them. And, and listening to it, I was like, this is what this is. You know, this, this is Grace's theme and, and getting to sing on it. I, this was one of the songs that I think I recorded multiple times before I even sent it to Sean. Cause I just wanted it to be like, as I wanted to match that feeling of like, it really is a visceral feeling while also feeling very epic. And I just wanted to, um, I think, I think I just kept sending tracks. Like, I think this one, no, 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 wait, I can do it better. I can do it better. But you know, like I just, yeah. I hearing it in its an entirety. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah. I, re I remember I changed part of the ending because you were telling me you heard something different at the end. So you sang, you sang ah. a bunch of different tracks. So I changed the ending hoping it would, that's what you meant because it kind of fit yes. your vocals way better. It was perfect. It, it was, yeah, yeah, there was a thing, there was a theme that you had like the theme that's actually out in front at the end. I, you had it like very low in the bottom and I was like, hold on, I'll sing that theme to you. Cause it's, that's it. That's, that has to be the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you did that. I love it. I, I, <laughs> I thought that, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, without, um, I think that, yeah, the collaboration of your vocals and everything, it does, it just makes it so epic. And um, and for me, I listen to this, uh, I also like having it all on the album and everything and all together also because then I can listen to it. And uh, I do listen to my scores. Um, uh, even Echo 51, which uh, Jeremy Woods did, um, which is on Spotify also, Submerge Echo 51. But um, this one, people's like, what you riding around listening to? You know, because I'm a DJ. I DJ over something, 20-something uh, years. But I listen to scores, and I listen to the scores to my films because that inspire me. Uh, they take me back to what we were doing on set or um, what the, what kind of conversation I was having with um, the composer. And when I hear your beautiful vocals, uh, Betsy, on that, it's just like, I can't believe I get to work with somebody like you because um, that's what, you know, this is what this is all about. And in, you're a beautiful person. And when you uh, bring your beautiful vocals onto soundtracks like that, it just, it takes it to a whole nother level. So I appreciate you so much coming on uh, board to Submerge. <laughs> well, thank you for giving me the opportunity. This is so unique from any other, any other project I've ever done. And I I love it. I love how, like when you were talking about what inspires you, the collaboration and the joy of just being in, this is such an amazing universe, such an amazing universe. And I just like, like listening to Grace, Grace's theme. And I'm just like, that better show up in every single like chapter from here on out because I love it. You know, like, it's just, oh, Thank you. You've created such something so beautiful and it's, it's a joy. It's genuinely when I get, when I get text messages from you or I get text messages from Sean or emails about like, Hey, we're getting ready to do. I'm just like, yes, I don't care what I'm doing. Yes. I'm in the car. Wait till I get home. Like I, I send Sean like ETAs of like, I will be home in 45 minutes. Hold on. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Cause I'm going to send you some links. I'm a little yeah. bit like Sean that way. Once I send it, I'm like, have they listened to it? Did they like it? What do they think? Should I record it again? Maybe I should do it again. <laughs> Yeah. I, know, I, I know on that on that last on grace's track i know when you sent me all those vocals after i'd written it i thought well now what i've done isn't enough because i felt like what you added was way more epic than what i had made so but it did it, it will never end just more yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah 
Well, that's, that's I was always, like, I'm like, we need to send more. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I, I'm like, yeah, we need to, we need to work together again uh, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Uh, it's it. it's it. so epic. Um, and I have notes for you. I have questions for you too, actually, Demetrius, on here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like right. things, I have some questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, for sure. Uh, we, we talk about it offline, or you want to do it now? Uh, I feel like it's going to be well. Okay, I'll give you the question that I had, and then you can like think about it for a while. So there was a mm -hmm. there's a song that Sean did, right? The one of the battle. And as I was listening to it, I was like, of course, you know, this is a sci-fi universe, so we're going to have battles again. And I was listening to it and I was like, you know, Sean's heard it and it's and it's in a little bit of our stuff, but I can do like a really low, like tenor soundy gravelly thing. Mm -hmm. um, do we have, and I feel like I'm blanking because I feel like the answer is yes, but tell me if I'm wrong. Do we have a unique alien language in the universe that has been written down that I can sing in? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There, can there I get is. it? Can I get it with font, with phonetics so I know how to say it? <laughs> no, it hasn't been. Well, did we write it? No, we haven't. Well, you know what? Let me stop. We do have merge, we do have submerged language, uh, okay. and uh, actually, if people look at their posters and also even in the album cover, there are messages in there. Yeah, there's like the symbols and stuff, but like. Language. Yeah. So See, I thought so. I thought that there was a language, but I was like, I was trying to remember what it sounded like. And I was like, I need it. I need it like written out phonetically because I have, I have ideas. <laughs> yeah. So, um, man, I see where you're going with that. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. We need to talk about that even more. So, um, uh, Ellie, um, that w she played in, um, uh, Nairi Reborn, she came up with the language. Uh, and so we've kind of kind of used it uh, throughout for a little bit. Um, but that is one of the things that we're working on, getting it um, more phonetically written and a little bit more behind that, because that's about to come out in the Submerged Universe guidebook. Uh, which really opens that up a little bit more. But I see where you're going. Uh, it could be kind of like the Klingon thing. But yes. that <laughs> that's ahead. what I was thinking. I was literally thinking that or like, okay, so again, I, I've been playing Survivor a lot. And if you go into the cantina and he has the, um, when the DJ is playing, um, they had some stuff that was very like low, not grunge, but it's grunge, but mm. you know, but like in, in the language of one of the languages, cause there are multiple languages of star Wars, but like one of the languages of star Wars is being sung in. And I was just like, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I've sung in, you know, with my background in, in jazz and musical theater, but also class, I have a, an undergrad in classical music. So I was mm -hmm. taught to sing in French and German and in Italian. Oh, and then I, for a while actually learned because I was um, I was trying to get into a Cirque du Soleil contract. And one of the things that they had to do was learn how to sing in Circus, which is a wow. language specifically wow. made for um, Cirque du Soleil and like circus acts where they have vocalists. The language that you're hearing is not an actual language. It's a phonetic sounding language to help visually tell the story, if that makes mm. sense, but it doesn't actually mean anything, but I've learned how to sing in that. So that's why I was like, do we have our own? I do we have a written language that I can look at and like, can we come up with things that would make sense if they were well, like your hidden messages on the posters? Like, can we hide some messages in, in the future scores? Like, uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, and we'll, 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 we'll get, we'll get together on that. Most definitely. Yes, we do have the alphabet and also uh, a written language of the, or uh, pronunciations and things uh, for the universe. So we're going to, we're going to get back on, on that. Um, but I see where you're going and most definitely we can make that happen. I'm excited. Yes. For that. Yep. Demetrius, uh, your, uh, your mind's clicking now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh my you God. have to pause the show. We're going to have to pause the show. Hold on, everybody. Sean and Demetrius and I get, need to go and make another album. We'll be yeah, back. Hold on. Right. Oh, boy. You already know. I'm thinking you about it. You already know. <laughs> 
<laughs> let's let's do a submerged album just is not connected to any movie it's just the submerged universe so uh i would love to do something like that um so so amy uh here said uh building a, a universe is hard you've nailed it thank you amy so much uh she says i, I know you have uh, graphic novels uh do have novels like star wars or uh highlander uh, yeah you know we're always working on uh the graphic novel uh we got submerge uh echo 51 um the novelization of that that really goes deeper um into the story uh you don't have to see the movie to to read the book uh and um john f allen really uh he wrote that off of my script so we really expanded that world and you really get some more details about the craig empire and uh the universe uh part of the universe submerged universe um, what's the name of the sorry demetrius what's the name of the the non-graphic novel what's the name of the novel novel uh it, it's a uh, submerge uh echo 51 and it's, it's on just chapter uh yeah it um what was it about 12 13 or i think about 20 something chapters uh it's on amazon prime so Submerge Echo 51, and uh, you can uh, catch it there, or uh, I think we got it on the website also. Uh, you can get it from there, uh, DV Entertainment Pictures. So thank you, Amy. She is such a hero of mine. Are you, okay. Are, uh, uh, Amy said, are you thinking of doing more? Uh, right now I'm kind of pivoting well, most definitely we're going to do another film, Submerged Galaxy of Subversion uh, is coming up next. Uh, and then also a spinoff animated uh, series uh, with the figure. But uh, with the novelization, I'm pivoting more toward the comics. And so uh, it can be a graphic comic, but also just the comics, uh, because those are what are they make it happen and it's so much fun to have it visualized uh, with albert de la cruz from the philippines he does all the artistry uh you know we i love seeing that and the stuff that you can do in comics that you can't do um on film because it's so expensive but in comics you can do so many amazing things we can't do yet right well yeah <laughs> So yes. <laughs> we're working on that, working on that for sure. Um, so I, I want to thank everybody for coming on. Um, we're going to do one more drawing. Um, so I, Betsy, mm -hmm. I'll let you pull some numbers or, and, you know, think of a number. <clears throat> uh, and then. Um, Between one and 50? Yeah. Or should we do 50 and 100 to the other half? Let's do 50 and 100. 50 and 100. All right. So anybody that's just come on um, right now, uh, you will be able to get a, a free, we're doing a free uh, giveaway. Um, we just uh, gave away uh, one of the uh, Submerged Universe Blu-rays. Uh, someone's going to be getting that. <clears throat> Again, this is uh, all five films on there. And you will get 10 years worth of behind the scenes uh, footage that some of it you haven't, no one has ever seen before. And so, um, so if you can think of that number, uh, put it in the chat. We're going to be here for a few more minutes and um, hopefully you'll be able to win. All right. So Betsy got her, her number and um, Sean, you still with us? Yep. All right, man. So, uh, Sean, what, what are you working on next? Um, actually, right now I'm working on a, on a five-part series. It's like a horror series. And I'm doing all the Foley work and the score, editing all the dialogue and adding some uh, background ambience. So it's been a pretty fun, crazy project, learning a lot of new things, you know. Okay. You, okay. you find it, find something you can't fix and you find a way around it, you know, just keep 
pushing and learning and learning. It's yeah. it's pretty fun to kind of have your hands on all of it, all the audio. Yes, yeah. it, it is because you're you're creating something. You're creating a world, and people don't know how much goes into that. Uh, they just watch a movie, but all mm. those little sounds, the door, all that is intensified by a sound design. Uh, some specially made for that. So, um, you know, uh, it's always interesting. And when I and when I'm doing that, like I said, I, I watch my favorite film or what have you that I like. But then I'm not watching the film. I'm listening. I'm listening to the score. I'm listening to when do they use that sound? When does that sound come in, uh, come about? You know. Uh, so all of that, you know, as a filmmaker, as a director, I'm looking at all of that. Um, all right. So again, one more time before we uh, head out here, uh, Betsy just had a, a number between 50 and 100, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you still got a few. Minutes. Yeah, you got a few, few more minutes. And uh, if you get uh, closer on it, uh, you will be able to uh, win a prize, uh, a giveaway uh, that we're doing. And um, uh, part of it is uh, some are getting the Submerged Universe. Um, uh, this is season one, actually, of Submerged Universe, all five films and uh, special behind the scenes um, of the Blu-ray. Um, so let's see here. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> yes, Amy. Amy was there. Uh, she was. Uh, she said I was there when Demetrius won a Best Director. That was w just one of my first uh, awards for Best Director at Imaginarium. Uh, I think it was 2018, 2019, somewhere in there. Um, so. Uh, yeah, that's a special thing. Amy, she's a filmmaker and uh, and uh, author and producer, uh, amazing uh, person. And and so uh, she actually told me to stay because I was about ready to leave because I had my booth. I was about ready to leave, and she's like, "Why don't you stay for the ceremony?" You know, and that's like the award show. I was like, you know, if I win an award. I did, you know, I do, but it would just wasn't going to be for me. I was tired. <laughs> so but I, I went on to the award show and lo and behold, uh, they call my name. And again, that was just out of this world of feeling uh, to be recognized uh, for the work. And also, <clears throat> I know I wouldn't be a best director or get award like that because <clears throat> I'm always learning. If I didn't have people around me that know more than me, that are uh, talented and uh, amazing, just like uh, Sean and Betsy. Uh, so when I get those awards, it's not about me. It's, it's about everyone that's collabed and, and you know, bring, brought my vision to, to life. So I appreciate everything everyone does and so I, I always try to give that back in some kind of way you know and a lot of people get on some films and it's uh you know they show it premiere it and then they're on to the next one but submerge it's a decade uh, so far and it's still growing so uh it's always uh you guys are part of the submerge family so when we have our submerge universe uh, convention, comic convention, you guys are on the list of guests, <laughs> all right? Um, so, okay, uh, Amy's getting, she's done picked two, three numbers. Amy, you can only pick <laughs> one number. In fairness, in fairness, I think she had the one to 50 and then a 50 to 100. When we said 50 to 100, uh, she had okay. in there. Okay, okay, all right, gotcha. So you, Betsy, she's on it. She's watching. See, listen. Here's the. Are we are we waiting a few more minutes? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Oh wait, or am I saying the number? <laughs> yeah. So 
the number is, Betsy. Go ahead. So Amy and I are like-minded. I'm a very quarters person. So I was, if I'd been 51 to 50, it would have been 25. And it was actually straight on 75. I'm a quarters person. Nice. <laughs> so nice. she literally guessed the number. All right. So uh, Amy, you are our winner uh, of the giveaway, the second giveaway uh, tonight. Again, that is the uh, Submerged Universe uh, Blu-ray. Uh, this is season one, and uh, I'm so happy that you're going to be able to have all of the films in one spot and have season one there. Uh, and then have a watch party for us, right? So we can come. That's over right. Here. You got to have a watch party that goes along <laughs> with. Uh oh, she is having. She's like, yay! Yes. <laughs> It's good stuff. Yes. So and behind it, the scenes stuff is neat. You know, I love Super behind neat. the scenes. So I've really been blessed to work with um, so many videographers and things. And so videography and uh, photography is so key when I'm doing my sets because, um, you know, some things are a blur because you've, you know, you're working, you're in the thick of it. And so to see that footage come back, it's, it's uh, amazing and, and inspiring. And you always want to see how people did it, no matter on what level they're doing. So, um, so we have a lot of that from a decade worth of behind the scenes. Let's see. I love that picture you had of Sean or the video you had of Sean as he was composing it made me realize I need to start filming myself when I'm in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I've never filmed myself while I'm singing, unless I'm like doing a TikTok or an Instagram or what, like a purposely performing, but I've never recorded like the behind the scenes stuff. That was, that was actually my first time. And it made me realize I need a better camera. <laughs> was so I think I need a camera. Like I'm going to just see, use my cell phone. <laughs> I see all these guys, like some of the guys I follow and, I mean, this stuff's 4K, and then I look like I'm using an old, you know, when we just got into cameras. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. All I've got is my cell phone, so I'd have to set my cell phone up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. Um, I, I've, i you know, just doing marketing and stuff, I just know that uh, it inspires others. People are watching and things like that. So, through this whole process over the decade, I've asked composers or visual effects guys, you know, give me a video or something. People want to see how you are doing this, your process, even if it's a little bit. And a lot of people are camera shy, and I understand that. I'm not. Well, it depends on what day it is, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm not. So I'm, I'm glad, Sean. That's why I've reached out to you because I remember you had did it. I was like, you know what? Not everybody has seen this. So let's bring that on. And uh, so people can see, you know, that you're putting this thing together. It's not just tracks uh, put together, which that's fine. Some people can do that. But this is tailor made. This is our original score, uh, you know, from your thought process down to the keys and the way you uh, structure and produce this album uh, is amazing. So, um, yeah. So, Amy, uh, you are the winner. And um, again, uh, I want to thank everybody for um, supporting us and coming to this uh, Submerged uh, Blue Star album release virtual party. Uh, if you didn't get to hear some of the tracks, um you will be able to rewind this watch it but then go to um dv entertainment pictures and get the limited edition vinyl album you'll be able to get stickers and an eight by ten sign poster and that's only while supplies last so you want to order it now at dv entertainment pictures.com now and then by the end of tomorrow, uh, everything will be on uh, dropping December 8th on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. And yeah, it'd be worldwide. <laughs> Everybody can get into it. Uh, and put it on your running tracks, put it on your me, thing. Just listen to it all the time. <laughs> yeah, put it in your playlist. 
you know, put it in rotation. I will be running to it. Yeah, because a lot of people don't understand the money that is generated for that. That's going right back into submerge. It's not going in my pocket. I'm not just eating burgers or something. That goes right back into this to go right back out to people and to support the next film. So that's what you're doing when you buy these things. You're supporting uh, the next project because uh, I am not making millions off of this. It is, uh, you know, it is love. It is art and it is passion. And I love creating these things and collaborating with so many people, not not only here locally, but around the world, Venezuela, the Philippines, Poland, uh, Dubai. So uh, you're not just uh, uh, putting money in my pocket. The money is going right back in to the submerged universe. And that's how we're bringing new and exciting content to you. So, uh, December 14th, uh, season one, uh, it will be streaming. You'll be able to do it on Submerge Universe via Jax TV. And they will also have the comics on there. So you'll be able to uh, download and look at the comics right from that streaming service. And uh, also on uh, December 14th, the Blu-ray and DVD will drop because right now, uh, if you are not at the cons where I've been all this summer, uh, you have not gotten this. And so, um, December 14th is when that will drop. So, uh, let's see, hold on. We've got some comments here before I let go. All right. So Amy said, uh, music is so important. And you should submit it uh, to the ISAS. I am on it. Thank you so much, Amy. And uh, industry award for an indie series. Okay, we'll check that out. See, Amy is on it. You know, uh, <laughs> I, again, as a producer, and she's an award winning uh, director and author, uh, check out her work. Um, so, I want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to um, Sean Thomas, the composer, uh, for uh, working on this uh, submerged blue star, and um, and we're going to be working on some more things, Sean. Together, uh, you are now part of the submerged universe, uh, and uh, Betsy. You are part of the submerged universe. Uh, and like you said, what you guys have created has set the tone for what we're going to be doing going forward. So that's, that's what I've been so trying excited. to get. So I'm going yeah. to look for my emails for that language. Okay. Okay. <laughs> midnight. I'm going to be sending you a message right. at midnight. Where is it? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to be up. Sean, I already know. I'm, I'm up. Let, let's go. Oh, you know. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a cyclical thing because Sean yeah. sends me things and then I send 50,000 things to him and then he sends them to you. And yeah. then I'm like, hey, by the way, have you right. seen it yet? Have you heard it yet? Yeah. <laughs> We're all Who up. sleeps? That's creative. <laughs> Not creative. Sleep. <laughs> so. There's work to be done. There's art to be made. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's like, man, let's go get it. Um. So, yeah, that's like Sean said, that's when I get inspired uh, <laughs> between that time. And uh, it worked nice, especially when you have younger kids. It's like, hi, spend time with them. But if they go to bed, house is silent. Let's create. Quiet. It's yeah. nice to do. So, again, I want to thank everybody for uh, being on. I think we covered everything. Um, uh, uh, Sean, where can we find your work and um, and also your social media? Uh, you can go to thefuzzstudio.com to see some of my work and contact me through there. Or you can go to my Facebook, Sean Thomas Composer, and check out some of my stuff there. All right. So the, the Fuzz uh, Studio, I'm trying to put that up a little bit real quick. So yeah, I can check that out. Um, most definitely uh, check out um, 
Sean's work and also especially on, uh, you know, uh, Submerge Blue Star. Uh, you'll be able to check out his work on Spotify uh, tomorrow. Uh, Finally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I've been, I've been uh, asking Demetrius for like a month or two now. When are we going to get this thing out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <exciting. laughs> well, you know, it's uh, like I said, it's been a process. My mm -hmm. computer crashed and then I had all these conventions that I was doing. So it was like building my uh, computer back up, getting that all worked out and then trying to get this album done. It is people, if you know what i'm talking about it is not easy quick mm -hmm. thing before we go when you're doing music you gotta first get a copy written then you gotta get it on a distribution site that will put it out to the world then you gotta keep um you gotta keep marketing because as an independent um filmmaker and and musician you have to keep it in front of people okay so you have to do your own marketing and you got to make sure all that's done and then also make sure it's been able to get tracked on all these different streamings. So TikTok, all of that. And by the way, if you have a TikTok and you're putting out a video and it's something epic, go ahead and pull up Submerge um, Blue Star as your music, uh, even on Instagram and Facebook because what that does, that helps us build our next uh, Submerge Universe project, okay? So thank you on that. Uh, so, um, so Betsy, we, we got, uh, what, what platforms again are you on? Um, so right now my main one is Instagram. So you can follow me on Betsy underscore bear. Uh, and that's B-A-E-R. Uh, on Instagram, that's where I post, you know, when I'm choreographing things or if I'm singing stuff, or if any performances, any performances I'm doing are, are always going to be posted on Instagram. Usually the links to the tickets will be there as well. Um, or you can check out my website, which is BetsyBear.com. That kind of talks about, you know, if you want to see my resume or past production photos. And then uh, if you're interested in my in my business, which is, you know, the choreography and a lot of the behind the scenes stuff um, or voice lessons, that's uh, HiddenTalentsInc.com. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. And that's an S. So B-E-T-S-Y <laughs> underscore bear uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. Very with me, people. I got you. There we go. And I'm going to show that one more time. We'll put that in the lower thing here. There we go. So uh, that's scrolling. Uh, everyone, I highly suggest that you follow these talented people. Um, much love to them and much love to you for supporting independent film, uh, independent uh, composers and singers. And we are all heroes, okay? We are all heroes. Uh, and um, just remember that uh, when you support one, you support all. And thank you for getting submerged with us tonight. And again, thank you again, Sean and Betsy. Uh, everybody, thank you for getting submerged. Thank, thank you so much. Dish.